So in each of my columns, this has four pieces. Okay, so These second right. graders know her as Ms. French, and she's wrapping up her U of L teaching degree with student teaching at Portland Elementary. For Sarah French, it's been a difficult path just getting to graduation day, overcoming her own parents divorcing, losing their house, mounting bills, and some of her own teachers who didn't expect Sarah to amount to much. I had a lot of teachers that were the kind of ones that it's like, unless you weren't the perfect kid, they didn't believe in you, like, at all. I had a teacher who, um, when I told her the situation and what was going on, she was kind of just like, you're never going to be able to deal with college or be a professional or anything if you can't do this. And as a 17-year-old girl, I was kind of like, wait a minute, no one believes that I can do anything. And college was kind of the farthest thing from my mind. As a senior in high school, Sarah was working full-time just to help keep her family fed when she found a guidance counselor who believed she could do more and persuaded Sarah to apply and get into U of L. My first semester, I was in a, in a course that made us come into the classroom for you know a few days. It wasn't that long. Even though I was only there a few days, I still had ones that I ran into a couple in public and they ran up to me and they remembered my name. And I'm like, I only spent like six hours with you, but this is awesome. And I just, I knew that that's how I want to meet my life to be. She may have found her calling, but that freshman year, still working full time, living off campus, was rough. But then Sarah joined a campus service organization, took on a leadership role, and discovered what U of L could mean to her. Everything. It feels like home. I really like the people that I've met there, and the professors are great, and it's the support system that I was missing for a long time. And she found her tough life experiences mixed with what she's been learning at UofL were a blessing at Portland Elementary, where 98% of the students receive free or reduced price lunches. I have kids that have gone in and out of foster care. I have kids that, you know, dad just left or mom just left. And I think being able to understand that on a personal level is the greatest thing for a teacher. It puts her heart into it. She, you can tell she cares and the kids know that. Now they run up in the hallway and hug me. <laughs> it's the greatest feeling in the world. And I think that special connection, being able to sit down and talk and say, hey, I'm there for you. I understand what you're going through. I've been there. That's the most special thing.